tell I count on Donnie a lot, can't you? Let's do page 30. Well, I don't know. Maybe page 30 or 32. I'll see you in the rapture. <laughs> e flat.
choose between the two I'd go home I'd go
this morning. Amen. All right, Children's Church, go on back. Praise the Lord. We had uh, several here Wednesday night. Miss Amy, that was missing you all. I mean, it worked out good. We had some step up and go on back. Praise the Lord. We had a good good group here Wednesday night. Listen, uh, with that being said, you remember, remember all of our, our ministries and your prayers that that the Lord will be at the center of, of each and every one of them. And uh, that's the only way that uh, we want to do anything is that, that the Lord be involved with it. Amen. We'd just be spinning our wheels. It'd all be in vain, Brother Lonnie, if the Lord wasn't involved. Amen. Couldn't save nobody. Couldn't see nobody get saved. Couldn't. Amen. You could sing to your blue in the face. Amen. Without the Spirit of God, it all it, it, it's nothing. We're nothing. Amen. And uh, I, I sure appreciate the Lord of meeting with us. I'm going to be reading from three places this morning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give them to you, so hopefully you mark your, your, your place there. And, and uh, we'll be kind of going back and, and forward. So uh, we're going to start out in the book of Joshua, the Lord being our helper this morning. And uh, Joshua chapter number 7. And uh, we're, we're going to go from there. We're going to go to 2 Samuel. Chapter number 11. All right, we're going to start out in Joshua 7. And then we're going to go to 2 Samuel chapter 11. And then we're going to wind up in Isaiah. The Lord being our helper this morning, Isaiah 53. I was reading this morning. I, I was thinking about this. I was thinking... What would it profit a man, this is scripture, what would it profit a man to gain the whole world and die and lose his soul? Have you considered the cost in that? Yep. Hey Amen. There, 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 is a, there is a cost this morning. And, and I feel like this. I, I feel, feel it in my heart. And I, I don't know from... Uh, this week and, and all this, this, this week and, and this morning especially, it's just been on my heart and been on my mind. Consider the cost. In Joshua chapter number 7, verse number 1, those that want to stand, be welcome to do so in the reverence of reading God's Word. It says this in Joshua 7, verse number 1, it said, But the children of Israel committed a trespass, in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of, of Camari, the son of, of, of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribes of Judah, took of the accursed thing. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we bow before you this morning. Lord, we thank you for yet another opportunity 
to be in your house. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for, for, for those that, that are in attendance. Father, we thank you, Lord, for, for those that's traveling. God, we ask, Lord, that you'll be with them. Father, we ask, Lord, that you be with uh, our children's ministry in the back right now, Lord. Father, we just ask God that you just give the increase with that. Lord, uh, we pray for Abigail this morning, Lord God, that's standing, Lord God, and, and sharing her testimony, Lord God, of what you've done through her. And Lord God, I thank you so much for that, Father. And I pray, God, for, uh, the, for Brother Donnie and his family, Lord, as they're at, at, a, at a homecoming, Father. All those that's singing, all those that's, uh, that, 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 is, that is doing their part, Lord God, for you this morning. Father, I, I thank you so much for them. Father, and I pray, Lord, that you'll bless, Lord God, your, your, your people this morning. Lord God, we need you. We want you, Lord. Well, Father, our, our homes need you. And Lord God, we pray and hope, Lord God, that if they be one here that's lost and undone, dying without you today, that today God, that they would consider the cost, Lord God. And Father, that they would give a, that, that they would give a, a, a second, Lord God, to, to, to listen to your sweet, uh, drawing Holy Spirit, Lord God, we pray. Lord God, that you'll make hell real to them, Lord God. Father, we pray. Lord God, that you'd give the increase, Lord God, because I am nothing without you. Lord, I pray that you'd hide me behind your cross. Lord, I pray that you'd guard my stammering tongue this morning. And Lord God, just strengthen us, Father, we beg. For all these things in your precious and holy name, we do pray, amen and amen. It says there in that verse number one, as I was reading, it said, but the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. Of course, we know this uh, the scripture in which that we're speaking of is speaking of Achan there and in the, in the family of Achan and the children of Israel and what, what they just accomplished over there in the chapter right before. In my Bible, it's on the same page. One of the greatest one of the greatest victories that ever in any kind of warfare took place just right, right the, the page of the chapter right before this happened and this took place. Amen? So what change, what transition between of, of, of having some of the greatest or having one of the greatest bat, uh, victories ever known in military history to now on the same page, now in the, with, with, with one chapter later, that they are suffering some of the greatest loss. Right. What, transi- what transition? Right. What, what took place and what unfolded here was a man called Achan. Achan was, was he had a family, he had a whole family, and, and he was the part of, of, of the children of Israel there and, and the tribe of Judah. And Achan, as they went into battle, he took of the spools. After God given command and, and, and God let them know to don't, don't take anything, don't, don't do anything. You just go in, you be obedient. The, the Bible says that Achan took of some of the better things. And he brought some of the better things. Or what he considered the better things. And he, and he put it in the center of his tent and he covered it up. And then the next battle that they went into, talking about the tribe of Judah, the next battle should have been an absolute simple and easy victory. But what happened was they were sin in the camps, what the Bible says. And because of that, the battle was lost. Men's lives and all that took place. Now, my question is this. Do you think Achan considered the cost? Do you think he considered the cost? I want you to think about that just for a second. Let me just, let me just, God went, or or Joshua prayed and asked God for guidance and asked God to to show him what took place and to show him as to exactly what happened. And and that resulted in Judah losing this battle. There shouldn't have been, it it should have been just an easy, easy fit or an easy victory. It should have been an easy fight for them. They didn't even send their whole army in because, because statistics showed that, that they should have defeated their enemy with ease. But what took place is the Holy Spirit withdrew for them. God withdrew for them. Why? Because there was sin 
in the camp. Do you think that Achan took in account this morning? Do you think that Achan took into account the, 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 the cost of him just taking of a few things? Of him just acting in a way that, 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 that he was, nobody was watching, nobody that, do you think that he considered the cost in which that it was going to, what it was going to cost him? And not just him, but his friends. Not just him, but his family. Not just him, but his all, all in which that he had. Amen. Look with me over here in, uh, later on in this verse in chapter number uh, 7 there in Joshua. And I'm going to start reading in verse number 23. This is after in which that Joshua, God revealed to Joshua as to what took place. Joshua went to Achan. I'm going to pick up and read here in verse number 23. And they took them out of the midst of the tent and brought them into, un, unto Joshua and all, unto all the children of Israel and laid them before the Lord. And Joshua and all Israel with him took Achan the sons of Zerah of the silver and the, of the garment and the wedge of gold and his sons, his sons, his daughters, his oxen, and his asses, and his sheep, and his tent, and all that he had. And they brought them unto the valley of Achor. And Joshua said, why hast thou troubled us? The Lord, would, would, the, the Lord shall trouble thee. And Israel stoned him with stones and burnt them with fire after they had stoned them with the stones. Isn't that just a terrible... You think, my, my, isn't that kind of a morbid thought this morning? It? But you know what? I believe this Bible to be true from cover to cover. I believe that this, this, this story, and I believe that, that, that this story, that, that, that this biblical account that took place, I believe it's there for you and for I that we can see and we can gather strength, amen, from. That we can look and we can see the, the uh, failures of other people and say, boy, I don't want to go down that route. Amen? Yeah. I'm around uh, convicted felons every day. And, and many of them have the story of Brother Tim, don't, you don't ever want to go down that route. You don't ever want to go down this route. This is not just, this is not just something in, in which that it's of ease. Amen? Why? What took place and what transpired was this man thought of himself for just a second and thought of himself, and it, but it cost him dearly. And not just did it cost him, but it cost his children. It cost other men around them. Have you considered the cost this morning? Have you considered the cost? Amen. And look, I'm glad and I'm grateful that God's mercy and God's grace toward us, Brother Brandon, I stand before you today as a, as a, as a, as a, a preacher that is absolutely, uh, just absolutely and amazed of just how long-suffering God is with His people. And I'm grateful for that. And I hope that you are too. Do you think that he considered the cost when, when his flesh began to rise up? Brother Jake opened us up this morning in, 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 in the Word of God and it talked about walking after the Spirit and not after the flesh. Yeah. Amen. But just for a second, Achan got in, this, got in the flesh and just for a second, just for a second and just for a thought, amen, he partook of something that, 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 God, would, that God just didn't agree with. And brought sin in the camp. Because of that, there was so much at loss. Do you think he considered that once he, 
Once, once he, he, he lined up, and the Bible said right there in that verse number 23 and verse number 24 that they, they took all that he had. Brother Steve, they took his sons. They took his daughters. They, they, they brought his asses out there. They stoned them even. Do you think that he considered the cost? Amen. I think about this. I think about the, the, in, in the book of 2 Samuel, you, if you'll turn there with me just for a second, in, in, in chapter number 11, look here, I told you to mark it, and I didn't even mark it, but it'll be, it'll be just fine. 2 Samuel, chapter number 11, if we could look right there together, we can read here about, about David and about how that boy David was a great military man. He was a great man, a great leader that, 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 that God had anointed. But what took place and what happened was just in that moment, and let me read to you in chapter number 11, verse number 1. And it came to pass after the year was expired at the time when kings... Do you see that right there in your Bible? At the time when kings go forth to battle... But David didn't go. David didn't go. He sent forth Joab. He sent Joab, the servants with him, and all of Israel, and they destroyed the children of Ammon and besieged Rahab, Rabbi. And David tarried still in Jerusalem. You say, Brother Tim, what exactly is wrong with that? Oh, nothing. He should have been on the battlefield and wasn't, first and foremost. Amen. What, what, what sin? You say, Brother Tim, what, what sin was there in that? There wasn't until one evening he walked out upon a rooftop and looked down and let his eyes wander and let his eyes see Bathsheba bathing herself. You say, Brother Tim, what would have happened if he would have just walked, turned around and walked back in? Probably nothing. But he didn't. Do you think David considered the cost and wished that what was fixing to take place and what was fixing to happen? I think about this. I, I, I didn't learn a whole lot in school, but I did learn this. To every action, there is an exact and opposite what? Reaction. Whose law of motion is that? Newton's. Hey, who said that back there? Hey, man. Mike, you said that? I am blown away. But you know what? Spiritually this morning, we're in the same boat. Spiritually, there is an action, an, an, an opposite reaction to everything. Do you think that David, do you think that David considered the cost when he looked upon Bathsheba? Do you think that David, why? He wasn't, he wasn't where he needed to be first and foremost, amen. amen. It's about four messages that I'm trying to wrap up into one this morning. But you know what? He, he didn't consider the cost. He got in his own mind and he got in the flesh. He was after God's own heart and still yet failed and still yet come short, amen. And in that moment, he allowed sin to creep in. He sent his servants down there to get her. She come up, and the Bible says that they, she lay with him. Wasn't her fault. Some of you may disagree with me right there. Wasn't her fault. Was she where she is supposed to be? Yeah. Was she doing what she is supposed to be doing? Yeah. Back then, if a king said for you to come to his place, you went to his place. Aren't you glad you don't live in that day and time, men with daughters? Amen. If they, if they drove by and they said, all right, we want that one and that one and that one, guess what? They, they came. They were killed. Amen. I'm glad. I don't know about you, but I'm glad we live right here in this day and time in which we live in. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. We're not persecuted for carrying the Bibles. We're not persecuted for being here this morning. Amen. Hey, 
Thanks be to God that we're living in and in, in under the, the period of grace. But what transpired and what happened was that David, that David got in the flesh for just a little bit. Do you think he considered the cost? No. Why would you not? You know the power of God. The, 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 each and every one of you in this room right here, I, I would dare to say that if I picked up a microphone right there and we went down each and every pew and each and every person within this room and I handed you that microphone and I said, give me one account that you've seen, that you've realized, that you've witnessed the power of God, I would have to say this morning that the, uh, every single body within this room could give an account at least one. Amen? Now, for time's sake, I'm not going to do that this morning. So you know that God is real. You know the power in which that He has. You know in, in which that, that, that we, we serve Him in love and we serve Him in fear. Amen? But there is a cost for those who disobey. To, to Sharon, Brother Brandon, this morning, and hope Andy Kate's in the back. She is, ain't she? Tony's Andy in the back. That's how much I can keep up with her. Amen. She's wide open. Lydia said the other day. She said, she said, you'll have to call. She was talking about going over to Lydia's house, and Lydia said, you'll have to call me first because you are a ball of energy. You gotta be on your A game. Amen. You watching that? I told Brother Brandon this morning, I said, I've spanked her and spanked her. That's a strong, one of the most strong-willed kids I've ever seen in my life. Is that a bad thing? No. But let me just say this. If we don't mold that, if we don't mold that energy, if we don't teach that energy, amen, if we don't do the best we can to point her towards Jesus Christ, could that be something in which that she grows? Could that be something that that, that would cause her, that cause her trouble down the road. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's, that's why you, church, that's why you're important. Amen. Yeah. Man, Tony, a lot of times we're out of, we out of gas. Amen. We out of energy. Amen. You see mine doing something they don't need to be doing. I want you to mold them. Amen. Yank them up, set them down, do whatever it is that you need to do. I won't be mad at you. Right. Amen. Why? Because I've considered the cost. Yep. I've considered the cost in this thing. You think David considered the cost when he was, was, was acting in the flesh? And then guess what happened? He had to lie to cover it up. Yep. And then guess what happened? He, that, that lie didn't work, so guess what? He had to lie again. And then guess what happened? That lie didn't work, so the next lie didn't work, so the next time it was murder in which that he committed. Yep. You think he considered the cost? Bathsheba sent him word and said, I'm a child. We each and every one know the power of God. We know each and every know that there is a, an, an opposite reaction to everything that's done. That's the law of motion. Amen. Spiritually, it can be applied in a, in a spiritual sense as well. Have you considered the cost? Think about this. I think about, about David over here in, in, in uh, chapter number 18, 2 Samuel. You can look with me right here. I'm going to start pick up and start reading here in about verse number 29. And the king said, Is the young man Absalom safe? And that guy's name, it says it there, can't read, I can't say that guy's name. And it goes on and answered, When Joab sent to the king's servant uh, and, and me, the servant, I saw a great turbulent, but I knew not what it was. And the king said unto him, Turn aside and stand here. And he turned, and, and he turned aside and stood still. But he asked the question, is the young man Absalom safe? Absalom was the product of David's sin. 
Absalom was the product of the fleshly act. Absalom was, grew up, and as he grew up, he began to rebel against his father. He began to rebel. He even came after David's own crown. Isn't that something? You think that David considered the cost? When that moment in the flesh. You say, Brother Tim, that's, that's pretty heavy this morning. It is. But these are accounts in the Scripture and accounts in the Bible that, that we can apply to our hearts and our lives that make us better. Make us better daddies. Make us better husbands. Make us better men and women of the church. Amen. You think David considered the cost? Oh, but listen to what listen listen to what transpired and listen to what happened. In verse number 33, it said this, and the king was much moved. Why? Because he got news of his son's death. He was much moved and went up in the chamber over the gate and wept. And, when, and, and, and as he went, thus he said, My son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom. Would God I had died for thee, O Absalom, my son. I can't imagine his heartbreak, can you? I can't imagine how that he must have been feeling. But do you think that he considered to take just for a second... And consider the cost. You say, preacher, what are you getting at this morning? I'm telling you this morning, we need to put the brakes on every now and then and consider the cost of our actions, amen? Consider the cost of our tongue. Consider the cost, amen, when it, when it, when it comes to serving the Lord, amen? Listen, it's not a sacrifice to serve God, but it's a great and wonderful game, amen? Have you considered the cost? Let's go on over to Isaiah 53. Have you considered the cost this morning? Because there was one that considered the cost for you and for me and for us and deemed it worthy that he die. So where do you stand this morning? He says this, He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon Him. And with His stripes we're healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to His own way. And the Lord hath laid on Him... Underlined in my Bible, laid on him the iniquity of us all. You see here, one time in glory, God seen sin upon the earth and seen sin upon the world. Looked to his son and said, son, you're going to have to die. I'm going to have to consider the cost right now. And you know what? He considered you worthy for the death of his son. Consider the cost for you. Should we consider the cost for him? For what? For those that may be sitting here it's lost and undone. For what? What would it what would it profit a man to gain the whole world and die and lose his soul? What are you profiting? What are you going to profit? Amen. You say, I'm going to live a good life. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have this. I, you know what? I, I'm having fun. Oh, yeah. Amen. You know what? Hey, hey I'm, I'm having a ball. I've got more friends now than I ever. I'm talking about true friends. I'm talking about friends that when the booze run out, amen, they don't take off. Amen. You know why? Because they're spiritual friends. Amen. We don't have to worry about the booze. We don't have to worry about the drugs. Amen. I'm talking about good brothers and sisters in Christ that will be there with you when nobody else is. 
It's a great and wonderful gain to serve God. It's not a sacrifice. There was a, a cost considered for you one day on Calvary. I, th- I like what it says right here. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet, you know what he was doing? Yet he opened not his mouth. You know why? Because he was considering the cost for you. He was brought as a lamb to slaughter, as a sheep before the shears is dumb, so he openeth not, openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison, from judgment. Who, decla- who, who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgressions. And transgressions was yours and mine. And it goes on. Of my people was he stricken. He made his grave with the wicked. Even though he knew no, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't know, he didn't know no bad. Only bad he knew, the only wicked that he knew was Tim Hamby's wickedness. Only wickedness that he ever knew was yours and mine. Amen. But yet he made his grave with the wicked. <laughs> and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was there any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord. Now why in the world would it please the Lord? Because he was considering the cost. The cost for you and the cost for me. And the cost for us right here today. Amen. To be living for him. He was considering the cost through the death of his son, Jesus Christ. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. There was one considered the cost for you. Are we considering the cost for him? You may be here this morning. You may not ever accept him as your Savior. Have you considered the cost of that? Cost, or Achan didn't consider the cost of his sin. Cost him his whole family. His innocent children died along with him. His generations was affected. As you get to studying out the, the, the genealogy, and if you look at the, 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 the lineage of Achan right there, guess what? Guess what who would have been, guess what would have come from his bloodline? Jesus Christ. But because of his sin, because of him not considering the cost, his whole family, generations, his whole lineages was taken away. Oh, there's so many more in the Bible. There's, Sam, there's Saul in which that disobeyed God and because of that, God withdrew himself from him. Hey Amen. There's so many more in the Bible that, that, that come short that God punished them. God, God, God become kindled toward them. And there was a high, high price to pay. Aren't you glad today that he don't look at us? He could. But that he's given you an opportunity. He's given me an opportunity. I'm not exempt. That we could take and put just a second and put the brakes on and consider the cost of where we're at. Consider the cost of maybe what it is that we're doing and maybe what it is that we're not doing. You know what? We're going to be judged according to that as well. Many people think, well, 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 we're going to be judged on everything that we did, but according to the Scripture, we're going to be judged on everything that we didn't do. All the things that we should have done that we didn't do, we're going to be judged upon that. Friend, let's consider the cost this morning so the price, the, so the price is not so high to pay. Amen.
there was one considered to cost for you and deemed you worthy. Worthy. Amen. How about you considering the cost for him this morning as we stand to our feet? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace, your mercy. Lord, we pray, God, that you'd just uh, give the increase, Lord God, with your message this morning. Father, I thank you so much, Lord God, that you'd opened my eyes to so many things and so many areas, Lord God, of your grace and your mercy upon my own life, Father. And Father, thank you so much, Lord God, that you'd, you'd, you'd open my eyes, Lord God, for, for, for me to put the brakes on, Lord God, for me. As a pastor, as a daddy, as a, as a, as a man of you, Lord God, uh, to put the brakes on and consider the cost, Lord God. And Lord, I pray, God, that you'll keep giving the increase. Lord, I pray that you would keep drawing. Lord, I pray for that one, that two, that, those that may be here today that don't know you in a free part of sin. God, I pray. I pray that today, Lord God, they consider the cost of that. Lord God, there's a price paid, Lord God, so that we wouldn't have to pay. And Lord God, I thank you so much for it. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for all you do for us. God, I pray that you give the increase. Lord, draw your people, Lord God. Stir the hearts of your people. In your precious name, I do pray. Amen. Amen. If you'd come.